Hey everyone, if you're interested in this look, keep watching. Mwah. First, I'm going to prime my eyelids with the P. Louise eyeshadow base and the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. I'm just going to apply this all over my eyelid and blend it out. And it should look like this. And then now I'm going to start applying my eyeshadow. And this is the James Charles Morphe palette. This is literally one of my favorite palettes. Honestly, Morphe palettes are just popping in general. But um, it's just, yeah, so good. So if you don't have it, go get it. And as you can see, I'm stippling to saturate the colors and then I'm sweeping to blend them out. And I just want to have a nice gradient effect for all the colors that I'm going to apply. And now I'm going to take this darker green and just swoop it in there. And by swoop it in there, I mean use circular motions to help me blend it out. And I'm going to switch to a smaller brush to help control my color placement. It helps with the gradient effect. As I switch the brush, I am putting the name of the brush below, so just pay attention in the video. And I'll also put the name of it in the product details. And again, I'm going to switch my brush to a smaller brush to help control my color placement. I just get smaller and smaller as I get to the outer lid. Cause I don't want those colors everywhere, you know? I just want them in a specific spot and I want them to stay right there and don't move, okay? Looking good, it's looking good. And then I'm gonna take this brush from the Makeup by Mario and Sephora Collection Collaboration Kit. And just sweep it. Going back in with a smaller brush and sweeping in those darker blues and the purple. And it's looking like the sea right now, okay? We loving it, loving this gradient effect. I'm sweeping it out because I also wanted to blend into my skin. So you just wanna sweep it to keep blending. And hold your brush out towards the end so then you have more control of your color and you're not just like slamming it in there, you know? And right now I'm just gonna go over my eyelid with the same exact colors just to add more saturation. If you're feeling like you're not getting the color payoff you want, go back in there with your colors. It's okay. You just want to blend. And I am not the best blender, but you know, it comes out looking nice, okay? And again, hold your brush towards the end. It's super important with the blending process. It's like Spongebob going driving with his big toe, okay, and not pressing the gas too hard. And I'm just sweeping that color. And then I'm going to take the ABH eyeshadow base and cut my crease. You always want to cut your crease with a nice flat brush. And this flat brush from Morphe is like heaven. When I found it, I was so happy. And don't use too much product. Your cut crease will come out very, very, very cracky, which I have done before and I sometimes still do. So just try to go in with as little as product as possible and, you know, just do the job. Just enough to do the job, okay? And then I'm gonna start going in with a little bit of purple towards the end, so sweeping a little bit more purple. 
and this will give it a nice gradient effect when I sharpen up that crease again. And right now I'm going in an angle direction to go against the first gradient I created. Same colorway, just different direction. And right now I'm using the smallest blending brush to saturate the color where I want it to go. Okay. Let it blend out. Yes, I use the same brush for multiple colors. It's just cleaning it up real quick, you know what I'm saying? And then, look at this gradient, by the way. And then after I apply this yellow, I will take the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place and just add that shimmery green and that shimmery blue to add a little texture and glow. Now I'm going to clean up my cut crease by feathering in some of the ABH eyeshadow primer. I want to feather it because I do not want a harsh line. And I want it to just go with the gradient of the other colors that I already have placed there. And then I'm going to take the other brush with some leftover product and blend it out. Okay, so after I do the top of my eyes, I finish my complexion, which I did off camera. And I'm going under my eyes with the same colors I used before. And I'm literally just going to add a gradient effect to that as well. And just adding a little bit of shadow at a time. And blending it out looking so good pop of color honestly I did not plan for this I never planned really it just kind of just kind of go you know And then I'm going to add the Fenty Beauty liquid liner and dots at the top, give it Coachella vibes. And then I'm gonna also clean up a little bit of that pink, you know, a little mess with some translucent powder. I'm gonna do my brows. I love the Precisely My Brow by Benefits. I use shade five and I recommend this because it's so easy to do hair like strokes to fill in your brow, to shape your brow. It's just so good. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of the Hourglass Vanish Concealer to help taper the ends because my eyebrows don't go out. And with this eye shape, my eyebrows kinda need to go out, so I'm just gonna give it a little bit of illusion without not doing too much. And then I'm gonna just blend that out so it doesn't have a harsh line. A little mascara before I pop on my lashes. And then I'm going to do my lips. But this is beautiful. Oh, hold on. We're going to put a little bit of yellow liner. This is from MAC. It's the Chromographic Primary Yellow Liner. And now we're going to take Chestnut from MAC. Line those lips. Make them all cute and juicy looking. You know what I'm saying? A little overline don't hurt nobody. And then I'm going to take the Givenchy Satin Lipstick in color 101. And just add that to the center of my lips. And that makes it so cute and so pouty. And I smack my lips to always blend my lipstick. Like, literally. 
and then i'm going to clean up my lips with a little bit of foundation with this morphe flat square brush just to crisp up the liner on my lips and i also decided that i do want a little bit of shine so i'm going to use the dior stellar lip shine in color 623 to give it a little pop hope you enjoyed thank you for watching